Welcome to part 8 of Campaign Popular Sovereignty. We're gonna get right back into it. And, uh, yeah, it's gonna be the first part of the, or the first part that is recorded in the new year 2023. Uh, not really much else to say other than I'm looking forward to what's gonna happen in this part. We have had a lot of drama between nations in the last part. Uh, Tsoglani ruling the Caspian, Dixirosia falling down, Paradis, uh just evaporating beneath Poland and Ravensburg, Loon being as it is, slowly crumbling to Ravensburg, and France forming from Foix. So, it's been pretty interesting so far, I must say. Let us go, though. Hikireru, I beg that you have mercy on the sons of Kut. Don't go gently into that somber night, Kut. It's at 99%. Oh lord, I fear this is... This is the last we may see of our Siberian friends. And you know what, actually? Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Sons of Kut, you lived well and died hard. You will always be remembered. But uh, I was gonna say that Hungary is actually slowly reaching out to, uh, to Asia. So I don't know what's gonna happen if they, uh, if they reach Jin or if they reach Mengjiang or maybe even Chakla. We have anything going on in Europe? Nothing yet. But maybe soon. Well, Nathan, Mexico. Ooh. Okay. The drama with New World Nations begins soon. And as... As I predict that, I will take a sip of my soda. This song is actually quite nice, I must say. Who's, whose core was this? Oh, it was Pavel Racine. So, yeah. Sel Latnitha may or may not do, like, may or may not prosper with Florida just breathing down the neck of the Caribbean. Uh, and same with Ale Corks. I don't know if they're going to be doing, if their colonial nation is going to do well. Uh, Florida is very powerful in ter on the water, at least. And I don't think there was any preparation stuff uh, that I had to do before. Had to do before this, Zimbros. I know you're trying. I know you're trying. I'm gonna just like that. That, that sudden just blaring of the bagpipes. No thanks. At least, at least ease me into the song, please. Medea is in a coalition against... Soglani actually has a lot of AE. Holy shit. Chernigov, Hassa, Vladimir Suzdal, Ausonia, and Medea. It's not a big coalition, but it's something. You know, it's something. If you had, like, maybe Poland or Kroranistan in there, yeah, I think that uh, you'd be able to take down Soglani. But as it is, I don't know. They're nearing 200,000 troops. No, they have no manpower, sure, but... Uh, they are... They're up there. And if you hear, like, a bag ruffling, that is me eating some cookie dough bites. Hmm. So Komet is going after the Disco Monks again, but... It's all good. Ah, okay, so it's a much more reasonable objective instead of the objective to invade the, the, the heartland of the Disco Monks. Because trying to invade this heartland, I don't know. It just seemed like you'd have a really tough time. We're going to see these armies clash, though. Komet's bringing it. 
Kemet is going to bring the heat. Let's see the quality. I, I, I know the Disco Monks aren't going to do well, but I want to see the quality difference. And it is vast. And that's probably because Kemet is two techs ahead. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The third Soglano Crusade against Hassa and Hassa. No, Hassa and Medea. Okay. Well, in that case, Soglani is perfectly fine. Ochaka? Ah. Okay, so this is Ausonia. Wait, what? Why are you against Ravensburg? Of night. Oh, Charnik. Leather is so dull. What are you doing? This is such a bad war to get into. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my boy. My boy is about to get wrecked. Oh, shit. Like, Leather is so can hold out for a little bit, but. Against Alsonia and eventually Ravensburg? This is gonna be such a bad war. Oh my god. Well, look at that. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Basing Su? Oh. You know, I'm feeling like this is Hikireru picking on Lawrence's nations. Lawrence, I'm sorry that Vlad's uh, submi single submission is bullying every single every all the all the two submissions that you made. I'm sorry. Oh lordy, like you ch chocolate. I know you're trying, but. 18, 19, no, they're, they're same tech level, but I don't know if Chocla can even match the quality, that's the thing. Clearly, Chocla has less morale. And Meng Jiang is behind in tech, so there's there's no competition there. Look at that. Look how much they want. You cannot tell me this is not a co-prosperity sphere forming. I didn't even mention it last part, too, but they took over... Borneo, basically. Like, I don't know what I'm witnessing. I, I, I genuinely don't know. And of course, Rastrakuta is there to back up Hikireru whenever they need it. Like, that's not an issue. The only good thing about this is that, like, uh, Vladimir Suzdal probably will only lose a little bit of land to Chernigov. But, I mean, try as they might, it's, it's, it's rough. It's rough. Elcorks, are you just circling this with the with the papacy? Because if so, Apanitsi and uh, Ravensburg are there with you. Okay, Komet took over the Horn of Africa. Yeah, I... Oh, hey, they didn't even take any... Chernogov didn't even take any land, okay. Are you still going to be allies? Please tell me you're going to be allies. Rivalry! Oh my god. Vladimir. You put your eggs in with the wrong basket. And you still are. Where's Nice? Or Nice? Whatever. Because clearly... Oh, it's right here. Huh. 
Oh my goodness. Hasa is now a vassal of Soglani. The coalition against them dissolved. I don't know. I don't know what can be done about Soglani. And Ravensburg for that matter. Amazonia, you're getting thick. A thick with two C's at that. And Urantia, you're getting thick too. So we like to see. And still, no wars. <laughs> How's the institution spread going, huh? Actually, uh, it's past 1650. Where did manufactory spawn at? Let's take a look. Manufactories spawned in tall rain. Uh, and, uh... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and check on the institution spread. So manufactories, it's man, some manufactories are gonna spread pretty easily. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's oh shoot, it doesn't look like there's any issues with manufactories. Global trade very easy. Printing press. Printing press is spread in Pala, so it's going to spread in Asia very slowly. Uh, but in the New World, it's only spread here. It gets very slowly sp spreading in California. Uh, colonialism, very slowly getting to East Asia. And it's not even spreading down here. We'll see what happens, I guess. Koranistan might have a tough time embracing those institutions simply because it's, it's going to be hard to spread it all out. I can only imagine what's going to happen when Ravensburg and Breitenburg go at it. Mengjiang. Oh lord, Mengjiang. Tributary and vassal. Oh, and is Blumbangan dead? No, they're not. Surprisingly enough. Oh, they're, they're, but they're a tributary state. This is... A commit conquest of Madurai! Kemet, what do you want in India? I swear this is not me piloting Kemet. I... I may love my ancient Egyptian history and my Indian history, but I can guarantee you that I am not piloting Kemet to take over parts of India. Are we gonna get? Oh wait, whoa, 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 whoa! The Brighton Booker Conquest of Feodosia. Where's Feodosia? Oh, it's right here. Vladimir, why? What are you doing? Oh my God, you're wrecking yourself. You gotta know when to cut your friends off. Honestly, Paradox isn't even doing anything. They're just colonizing in peace. It's the same with Kent, actually. Kent isn't doing much. They're just colonizing in peace. Lanzang. Oh, Lanzang is out now allied with Chu. Look, they're at war. Uh, the true conquest of Batak. Did, did these two exchange land at all? Oh, yeah. Okay, so Jin actually got got a lot of land here. I must have missed this war. It must have been, like, Jin going after Chakla. Okay. And Chakla has no allies anymore. That's unfortunate. 
Oh, I, I thought there would be a chance, Chocolate, that you, Ming Jiang, may be allied to Paula later on, but I guess not. No one really, yeah, neutral, rivalry, hatred. Like, your only chance is to maybe ally with Hikireru, but it doesn't seem like that's going to happen either. Yeah, and Indrapur, I don't think you can fight back fight back against Chu, but maybe on the water, sure. I mean this 25 stack is kinda scary if you think about it. Ugh god. Someone stop the Japanese! Papacy. Oh, the papacy now has its independence guaranteed by Ravensburg. How quaint. How cute. Alecorks, where are you colonizing? Girona. Oh, no. Uh, Rus Rusalon. Okay. And you're making a lot of heavy ships. For what, though? Nothing yet. There's nothing yet between these three. They're gonna. They're gonna. The, the the tension is gonna explode at some point. I just. I just feel it. And commit. Where are you colonizing? Colonizing down here to connect these holdings. All right. This song is actually pretty fucking good. I don't know why, but it reminds me of, like, the soundtrack from Halo. Why are you still out of Oh my god. If you, okay, if you want to kill yourself, Vladimir Suzdal, by allying yourself with Dixie Rossiya through and through, then that's, that, that, that's complete... <clears throat> that's on you. However... Dixie Rossi is now a tributary of Soglani, so if Ravensburg or anyone else wants to attack Dixie Rossiya, they're going to have to deal with Soglani. Oh my god. Had a random fucking coughing fit there. Don't know what happened. Someone's trying to assassinate me. Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Um, okay, so Hikireru's colonizing there. Was that. Who, who was here? I guess Lan Zhang was there. And Indrapura has been fully annexed. Kemet has taken this land. Chu has taken this land. And Kemet is in Southeast Asia. What the fuck is the shit? I don't even know what I'm witnessing anymore. Kemet, I'm proud of you and all, but... What are these holdings? Your rivals with... Zimbros, Sel, Launita, and Pala. Arakan is allied with, or rivaled to Hikireru, Rastrakuta, and Jin. I don't. I, I, what, what is this subcontinent going to become? I, I have no idea. What's going on in the colonies? Anything? Florida's not getting aggressive? <clears throat> Fast forward a little, please. North wind. One more. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at the uni at the uh, at the units 
whilst taking a look at their national ideas. So, global possible number of buildings. I, I, I think the AI is taking good advantage of that. <clears throat> yeah, like, if the AI is low on money, that means they're spending a lot of that money on buildings, troops, and all that. And considering how many building slots there are still open in places, I think that uh, Ravensburg is actually doing a lot of, a lot of upgrades. The fuck, get the fuck out of here. Damn fruit fly. <clears throat> France, where are your units? I want to take a look at them. Okay. Kent, what about your units? I think all of their land is prosperous. Let's take a look. <clears throat> yeah, most of Europe is prosperous. Not a lot of wars. The only places that are devastated are here, to a small extent, because of, I think, Paradox raiding them. What can they do for religious actions? So I guess just gain money, really. Okay. Paradox, how are you doing? You are isolationist, which makes complete sense. They may raid coasts and they ignore zones of control. Mm, let's see. Apenitsi, how are you doing over here? You chilling in the Adriatic and in the Mediterranean? <clears throat> I kind of, I don't think, like, really mo most people are going to be able to contest uh, Apenitsi now that I think about it, simply because they have galley focus, and they also have uh, some good naval buffs. They don't have ship durability, sure, but they got a lot still. <clears throat> right now, the aristocrats are in power, so that is that. It gains influence through overextension and bankruptcy. Influence through Navy tradition, influence through positive stability and army tradition, and they lose influence through war exhaustion. <clears throat> okay. Kemet, how are you doing? Your colonial expeditions have been proving very useful, apparently. The trade ideas, I think, are actually going to be really useful. <clears throat> and you are enemies with... Yeah, okay. So maybe not enemies with Soglani. If commit allies with Soglani, that's a powerhouse. Uh, let me just take a look at the opinions they have of each other. Neutral. Friendly. Okay. Maybe there's something there. Georgian Riders. Rastokuta. They're not allied with Hikireru, actually. They're not allied with them. They've been warned, even. <laughs> Lenzang, Rastokuta. Alright. I find it funny how Otacon is still a tributary. And they're actually giving a sizable chunk of, like, military power or whatever to, uh, to Paula. <clears throat> And the Disco Monks are bringing the party to Sumatra and Australia. Australia, how are you doing? We haven't taken a look at you in a good long while. Mm-hmm. Cavalry fire and artillery fire. All right. I wish you would colonize some of this, Australia, make it look slightly less hideous, but you do you. Nothing going on in Europe. Nothing going on... Excuse me. Nothing going on in the New World. California, where are you colonizing? 
Cascadia, huh? You're trying to turn me, a, a resident Cascadian, into a Ruthenian? I see how it is. Yardesh, are you okay right now? As a, as a vassal? It's not the best situation, but it's what you gotta deal with. It's what you got to deal with. And meanwhile, Solgalani over here. What, what? No. I don't like that song. Not for this fucking campaign. Jesus Christ. I don't even know what that was. Oh, Hasa. Hmm. Doesn't like being a vassal. I don't even know what Conquest Sphere is in terms of a modifier. But, uh, yeah. Hasa doesn't like you. That doesn't surprise me. Okay, so the cavalry is fucking... Look at that! Look at 21,000 cavalry! They're way over, but it doesn't matter. It's like, so Glani doesn't give a shit. Like, yeah, we'll go over the, the fraction, whatever. Nothing's gonna happen. <clears throat> the enemy can't do shit against us. Corona, yeah, Corona Stan needs to work on the institutions for their technology. Otherwise, they're not going to stand against... They're not going to stand a chance against Solgalani if, if these two go to war. Uh, who else? <clears throat> what is the papacy up to? Fire focus? Hmm... Oh, well, that's on you. You failed the agenda. Oh, this is a trade company. Okay. Hmm. I didn't think that they, that they would do a trade company down there. Uh, Alecorks and Ausonia. Ausonia, you're allied to Chernigov, Kent, and Alecorks. Solglani has Paradox and Apenitsi. Vladimir. Oh, hey, they're allied with Poland. That's something that's not going to kill them. Because Poland is allied with Trier, the papacy. Uh, Vladimir Suzdal, Lune, and Breitenbuch. Maybe this alliance will kill Vladimir Suzdal. I don't know, actually. I fear for them. I really do. I think we're going to try and do 25 years here, so what, 1670? We'll try and stop around 1670. Pavarasena is not doing anything. I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but the colonial nation of Alecorks isn't doing anything. Florida isn't doing much, and neither is no anyone else. Oh, hey, Kent is down here. Mm. So we're going to see some Anglo-Saxons in the New World. It's about time that uh, they started. They took exploration ideas really, really late. Breitenbuch. They they took a head they took heavy ship focus. Sure, why not? We'll have a joyous merry song. Zimbros is actually trying to consolidate this land, which is I think is the right the right move instead of like trying to go for like North Africa or somewhere else. I don't know. What do you want over here, Brighton? You want the Black Sea, really? Really? Oh, Sonia, what do you want? Do you want more of the Black Sea, really? Commit, what do you want? You just want East Africa, really. Okay. What? Why do you want... What? Why? What is... What's over here? Oh, no. What is this? 
conquest of Mrech. What is Marech? What is Marech? Why do you... Does Hasa want it? No. Who wants it? And where did you get a claim for it? Uh, I mean, Kemet has no chance here, obviously. I, I'm not doubting that. But what the fuck? Like, where, where did they get the claim from? I don't, I don't understand it. Oh well, Kemet. You gave it a good run. Oh my god, Chakla! Chakla! Oh lord, the Chinese are getting aggressive. The Japanese aren't getting aggressive though, surprisingly enough. Uh, yeah, Chakla. Unfortunately, I don't think this is gonna go well. Wow. Holy shit. And they, Jen wants to rest. Okay. So this is the new Jin Dynasty of China, or the later Jin, I guess. All right then. Okay, man, it's... Seriously, wh where did they get? Where, where did they get the claim from? Maybe it was a random event, actually. It might have been a random event. Oh, Marehan is... Marehan Separatists rise up. Outer Heaven... Oh, huh, okay. Yeah, allied with uh, with Otacon, but still, like, Outer Heaven... They might be, like, the... Along with Australia, like, the only two player nations that have not had a single... And I mean, a single conflict. I mean, no, Zalotki and the New Worlders. Okay, out of the player submitted nations in the Old World, I think Outer Heaven... Australia? Australia? Does Australia count as the Old World? I don't know if it does. Oh well, Outer Heaven, Settle Out, Nitha, and Australia. They're like the only ones that have not engaged in a war yet. Paradox isn't doing anything. But, oh, oh yeah, they're, they, that's right. I, I, I remember now. I went over Sogolani's alliances earlier, and uh, Paradox is with that. Come on, try as you might. Like, there's nothing to be done here. I don't even know what fucking Sogolani is going to do with this land. Other than, well, expand out from there. I don't know the language this is being sung in, so... These power politics, man, like, I really don't know, like, what the next play is for certain nations. Where's your colonist at? Feel, no? Oh, okay. Jin, Chu, Hikireru, Makje. They are knowledge shared by Jin, okay. Who? I wonder when. I wonder who's going who Kroranistan is going to border first. Is it Soglani? Is it Jin? Is it maybe even Mangjiang? Or I, I I don't know. We shall see. Yeah, Europe is just quiet. I I don't know what's going on with you, Europe. 
deadlocked in alliances, maybe. Anything going on in Southeast Asia? Oh, Banjar got annexed. Alright, so Banjar, Indrapura, the only one left standing out of the three originals uh, in Southeast Asia is Blambangan. We'll see how long they last. Get yeah, commit. It's. It's. It's looking dark. It's looking real dark. Actually, I forgot. Like, Sultani could have commit, like, release uh, nations over here and all. And over here in the Southeast Asia. So. I don't know. Ravensburg. That's actually. They might just be pressing ale corks. I don't know. Again, nothing going on in the new world. And there's nothing going on with religion. The Protestants have been defeated in Europe. That's that's just uh, well established. So I don't know. Vladimir Suizda, Chernigov, Poland, Breitenburg. Let's take a look at you. Let's take a closer look. I think we can go to 1672, maybe? We'll see. Let's see your national ideas. Yeah, I'm really surprised that these national ideas have benefited Breitenburg as much as they have. Ship trade power, national tax... Yearly prestige, what is widely regarded as not a dead modifier, but just a very meh modifier. It's just, you know, Brighton Book is just going off. And Soglani is also going off. So, yeah, I, th th this is a thing now. These conquests get larger and larger with each war. Oh. Oh! Well, commit you bit off a huge chunk and you can't defend it all. This is unfortunate. As much as I like seeing large commit, I know it's not... Oh my god! Look at this shit! Horrible! personally offended right now. <laughs> uh, it's what happens in these campaigns. You have you have large conquests and hideous borders and well nations gotta get knocked out. Look at this name. Look at this fucking name. Look at this shit. Even bigger than Khoranistan. Where's actually where is Arakan colonizing? I'm curious. Okay, so they're consolidating Sorostra. Trade company land. Anglican. Alright, we're gonna go till about August of this year. Uh -huh. Look, I know you're trying, Commit, but Hikireru is too strong. They're too powerful. <laughs> the alliance between Rastrakuta and Hikireru is broken, and now Hikireru wants all of Rastrakuta. I just find that hilarious. Did they? Did Jin just take some? No, no, they didn't. I thought they did. 
Bum bum gun. Latin Zhang, how are you doing? Uh, what are you doing, Australia? What is this? I don't even know. At least the disco monks are gonna bring you party. Uh, bring you a party. Actually, they're not colonizing. Where, where are they colonizing now? Oh, they're going here. Okay. All right. Any big wars over here? Nothing? No, but France is guaranteeing Trier. That's interesting. Kent is allied with Paradox, Ausonia, and Salonitha. The tension is just building right now. That That's really about it. I, I forgot. I was going to stop it last year. Uh, okay, we can do September of this year. I'm going to remember. Medea, what? Medea, you're going to get... You're going to get kind of wrecked in just a small while because, uh, you know. So Glani's right there. You can't hide via map color. That's not a trick you can use. All right. So that's going to be it for part eight. Uh, my child got fucked over here and is a little slow in the head over here. Like, why you're still allied to Dixie Rosia after those two wars is beyond me. But friends to the end, I guess? Don't turn your back? Ugh, God. At least you got Poland there. Where's... What is John Vlad? That John is a name that can be picked? The fuck? Anyways. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for part eight. Um, the ninth, Breitenburg, Ravensburg, Pope Ce Celestinus the sixth. I like how Apanizzi, like, is still just sailing by with no issues. No one, no one really is paying any mind to them. They're just, they're just cool. They're just chill. Here are your standings for the end of part eight: Ravensburg in first, Breitenbuch in second, Soglani in third, Ausonia in fourth, Kent in fifth, Hikireru in sixth, Pope Sama in seventh, and France in eighth. And yeah, not really much else to say other than, again, someone needs to stop the Japanese, but also now, someone needs to stop the Circassians. Uh, let's see. Military quality sorted by discipline. Surprisingly. Vladimir Suizdal is at the top. And then the army total. Ravensburg at the top. And now Sonia right behind. And then naval totals. Kent at the top. With Breitenburg right behind. Surprisingly, Urantia is, is in the is in this top uh, this top page. What about army totals? So yeah, mo everyone in this top bracket, whatever, has over 100,000. We've reached that point in the campaign. Uh, I guess I can look at um, some of the majors and what uh, age abilities they've picked. If they've picked, if they have picked anything else. Uh, Ravensburg hasn't picked anything else. Uh, they have a uh, Brighton book picked. Fervent March, admin efficiency. More merchants and expel minorities. So Glani has picked really nothing out of the ordinary. 
Hikireru has picked higher developed colonies and fast construction. Not bad, not bad. Jin. Uh, edict of absolutism. Uh, edict of absolutism, but nothing really out of the ordinary. Koranistan. Nothing out of the ordinary. And Florida, what have you picked? Nothing out of the ordinary. Americhan. Again, nothing out of the ordinary. And the last one we will check in on is Loon. Nothing out of the ordinary. So, yeah. It's, it's getting... It's getting interesting, I would say, more so in Asia because more things are, more pieces are moving, more things are happening. Um, these three of my, of my submissions are slowly making more contact. And Hikireru is intent on expanding every fucking where in Asia. And uh, in Europe, at least, you know, Solglani is a huge threat with its base of power just spreading to everywhere. Just look at that. Look at that shit. So, that's gonna be it for part 8. Thank you all for joining in, and I'll see you for part 9. I'll leave you off. I'll leave you off on this.